Hi, my name is Valerie, and today I'm going to talk to you about how I made this really cute headband. So I was watching a video from a YouTuber called Fiber Spider, and he was making a blanket with what is called a Bavarian stitch. I watched it and I said, you know, that's really pretty. I bet I could make a headband out of that. So I followed along with him a couple times just to make sure I knew how all of the stitches worked together. Then I went on my own and figured out how many chain stitches that I needed in order to start so that I could get all four wheels to make this really cute pattern. If you don't know how to do a treble crochet or a, tr a reverse post treble crochet, then you probably are going to want to pop over to his video first, follow along with him, and figure out how all of that works. Then you can pop back over here and start making your own really cute accessories. So let's get started. Start by chaining 42 stitches. As you can see, starting in chain 1, I put twist ties at every 5 stitches. Do a single crochet at chain 41, then yarn over twice and pull through chain 36 and complete your first treble crochet. Complete three more treble crochets, then a single chain stitch. Then make an additional four treble crochets in chain 36, then secure to chain 31 using a single crochet to complete your shell. Repeat this so you end up with four shells. Turn your work and start with the first treble crochet. Continue with the next three treble crochets, single chain, four treble crochets, and secure with a single crochet to complete your first wheel. Work all the way across to create four wheels and finish by attaching to that first single crochet with a slip stitch. Do five chain stitches. Yarn over twice and catch your first post from behind to make your first reverse post treble crochet. Do not finish the last pull through. You'll have two loops on your hook. Make three additional reverse post treble crochets. You'll have five loops on your hook and then connect them with a slip stitch. Make five chain stitches and secure to the space between posts. Make another five chain stitches and eight reverse post treble crochets so you have nine loops on your hook. Secure those nine loops with a slip stitch, then make five chain stitches and secure that to the space between posts. Repeat this as you make your way around your wheels. Do the four reverse post treble crochets to make the corner and attach to the single crochet on the end with a slip stitch. Repeat the same stitch pattern to the other side of your work. Chain 50, tie off and hide the tail. Do this to both ends of your work in order to make the ties in order to complete your headband. So I really like that you can use all different sorts of colors for this project. You can make it so that it's your best friend's favorite colors or you could make matching ones for say like you and your sister or something like that and uh, then you know you can give them as birthday presents or christmas gifts it's just you know a really fun little project that you can do and show somebody that you care about them I hope that you decide to pick up your own crochet project and turn a piece of yarn into something really fashionable. Have a nice rest of your day and happy crocheting!